We begin tonight with efforts to repair I-77, a stretch of the interstate from mile marker zero to mile marker five is riddled with potholes and deteriorating pavement. Yeah, the state transportation department says those repairs are going to begin March 10th. News 19 Zoe Henry is out near I-77 this evening with what drivers think about these upcoming changes, Zoe. JR, I'm at the Bluff Road exit of I-77, and this bridge right behind me is part of SCDOT's rehabilitation project. Now, I spoke with drivers today who say that this project is well overdue. We love to joke about how I-77 and 277 are the worst to drive on, for our tires especially. Yeah, it's just like, it's so like bumpy. Infamous for poor road conditions, like potholes, is getting some much needed upgrades. 14 bridges, six bridges in the northbound direction and eight bridges in the southbound direction will have the decks, the top portion of the decks removed and then replaced with uh, an overlay of concrete. The project will span from mile marker zero, where 77 meets I-26, and end with mile marker five, the Bluff Road exit. South Carolina Department of Transportation plans to tackle this project in phases, each part taking nine days. That's great, but it's also going to cost a lot of traffic because we have so much traffic already and it's going to block and like make more traffic, especially on game days. I, I think at some point in time you're going to have to do something to fix it and nine days certainly it will be an inconvenience, but at the end, it'll probably be worth that inconvenience to get the road how it needs to be. SCDOT says the plan is for the project to take a couple hundred hours rather than a couple hundred days. Now the project is set to start March 10th and wrap up around May 22nd. I'm on Bluff Road. Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. Zoe, thank you. The State Department of Transportation has a massive list of road improvement projects planned or currently underway. In 2017, lawmakers passed a roads bill, the first major funding increase for the state's roads in decades. The Transportation Department created a 10 year plan to repair and maintain roads and bridges across the state. The state received more than $6 billion from the federal government last year to address infrastructure concerns, including roads and bridges. And here in Columbia, the Leesburg Road expansion project is in its second phase. Crews are expanding a two-lane section of the road into four lanes. The nearly $50 million project started in April, being told the work should be finished by October of 2025. Phase two of the Carolina Crossroads project to improve Malfunction Junction is still ongoing. Completion of that phase expected in about three years, with the entire project set to be completed in 2029. And just last month, a project to widen I-26 from Columbia to Charleston got underway. The interstate is going to be expanded from four lanes to six. That project is expected to be completed in about 10 years. A major complaint about South Carolina roads, potholes. If you drove over a pothole and damaged your vehicle, there is a chance the state will compensate you for the damages. Now, keep in mind the damage must have happened on a road that's maintained by the state transportation department. Here's what you need to know. They must have known about the road conditions before the damaged happened, damaged to your vehicle happened, and the department did not correct the condition in a reasonable time. Now you can file a claim on the state transportation website.